I was born in Prague. My father was Jewish. My mother wasn't. And um, um, when the when the Nazis occupied Prague in in March 1939, my father disappeared immediately. Um, he told his cousin he was going. Cousin said no, and they went off to Auschwitz in, in 1941. So my mother tried to get permission to leave and was refused. So she put me on a kinder transport. I remember, I can still see in my mind's eye the departure from Prague Station with my mother looking anxious, German soldiers with swastikas, and um, the journey was interminably long. But I remember when we got, about nearly 24 hours later, we got to the Dutch border, and then the older ones cheered because we were outside of the reach of the Germans. And I arrived in London. Uh, I was very lucky because I had somebody waiting for me who was a parent as opposed to some of them who only had foster parents awaiting them. Um, no, I think I, was I, I, was, I think I was treated pretty well in this country. I think the, this country gave me tremendous opportunities for which I'm, which I, I'm enormously grateful. I was trying to understand what had happened. And I suppose, I think I said to myself, if evil men can cause such terrible things to happen in politics, maybe politics can also be used the other way for, for, for the better of my fellow human beings. So I, I was passionately interested in politics at a time when my contemporaries just weren't, and I studied things and so on. So I suppose that set me on this path. Save the Children did a study <coughs> of unaccompanied child refugees in Europe, and they came up with a lower figure of 26,000, which they then increased to a figure of 95,000. But as a result of what they did, there was a suggestion made that Britain should take 3,000 of these. Uh, so the amendment simply said Britain should take 3,000 unaccompanied child refugees from Europe. On its way to the Commons, it looked like the government was then going to lose. Enough Conservative MPs were going to support it. So Theresa May very charmingly said, could I have another chat with her? And she said she proposed to accept the amendment. And I had the pleasure of seeing her name on my amendment on the House of Commons order paper. I think what we've got to do is make sure the world is focused on our responsibilities to refugees and that all countries should, should be part of this. And I hope President Obama will address his powerful influence on, on all countries, but particularly those that are doing very little or nothing at all. We, we've got to say that this is a humanitarian crisis and we've got to step up to the mark with humanitarian solutions and all of us should, 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 um, should accept the responsibility.